What's up guys? Just went to Salvation Coffee. Best coffee in NC. Got me a toasty oats. Got a little coffee surprise for the lady. A little snackies for the lady. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna pop in the house real quick. Give her those uh, and on today's video uh, I know it was supposed to be uploaded yesterday I hope you guys aren't mad at me it's gonna get uploaded today today is Friday uh, Thursday to Sunday is when I do my uploads just for future reference sometimes I do one sometimes I do more uh, but we're gonna be doing I, I got a bunch of bunch of stuff to go over with you guys so uh, let's start with A. Uh, we're going to be doing how to properly clean or uh, wash. Let's just say that. How to properly wash <laughs> your uh, your taco. How to properly wash your taco. Oh. No. How to properly wash your taco. And um, caring for your paint while... while uh, detailing it and uh, also too uh, I'm gonna go over some updates uh, some some things I installed some parts and stuff uh, that I didn't have a chance to film just because it's simpler stuff but uh, just to show you guys some new uh, little small upgrades I did to the vehicle and then um, also too let's not forget about the 100 subscribers giveaway so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway once I hit 100 subscribers, uh, and you guys are gonna get some really cool stuff. Uh, so I got a uh, LED Anzo, Anzo USA. If you guys are familiar with that company, they make lighting uh, for cars, uh, along with some other parts. Uh, I have a full third brake light LED. It's a smoke tint assembly if you guys haven't seen the post check it out on instagram uh comes with the lights in it obviously because it's led uh and it has the harness attached so it's just plug and play uh after you you know drop your headliner on the back side and then install it it's just plug and play and then um also as an added bonus i'm gonna be giving away a gift certificate to salvation coffee uh and uh, I'm not gonna say how much it is. You'll just see when you get it. So keep your eyes peeled. Uh, so make sure you go over to at Carolina underscore Tacoma Beast, the Instagram page, and uh, follow the rules in there. Uh, make sure you follow that account. Also, if you're reposting, please tag me or else I won't know that you shared it in your story or reposted it. Uh, so we're going to move on and get to the video of today. I got a surprise for you. Why are you recording this? Huh? Because it's for YouTube. It's for YouTube. Yeah, they had a keto cookie. Yeah. Mm. Where's your drink? In the car. <laughs> Why is that your drink? What is up, guys? So, uh, we're going to be doing the wash right now. And I'm just going to show you guys uh, how I do my truck. Uh, but also, in the detailing realm, how to properly wash your paint and we're even going to go over a little bit of waxing hand waxing so um this is what i use for the body super soft nice little mitt and then this guy is what i use for my wheels so it's like a hand mitt it's got a scrubby side on there in case you need to get bug guts or something like that off uh tar even you can use it on the undercarriage and then we got our wash bucket here, using up some of the 
last little bit of the uh, turtle wax soap that I'm, right. that I'm So I'm just gonna fill the bucket up here. Oh, my hose is not long enough. We're gonna get the bucket filled up. And start our wash. There it is. So, um, I always put my mitts in there and let them soak a little bit. And we're gonna do the, what I like to do is the shower setting, slightest on the paint. It's just gonna get your other, it's gonna give you a nice rinse to get all that debris off there without being too rough on the paint. So you're gonna wanna do the whole vehicle like this. Uh, just to get all the majority of loose debris off of there. And then you can go ahead and start your wash process. Uh, I thought I left my windows down. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna head and cut to the actual wash process. All right guys, so we got the whole car rinsed down for the initial starting rinse. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is show you guys how I wash my paint. Uh, but usually I start with the wheels first, just cause in my opinion, they take the longest. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the wheels right now with that wheel mitt. And I'll just show you guys the one here, and what you wanna do. So I get the wheel mitt. I don't even put it on. I just kind of hold it. And you just wanna go in each one of the spokes all right guys, so I'm gonna show you how I do my wheels with the wash mitt here. So uh, what's nice about this mitt is it's pretty soft. It's easy to clean. So you can really get inside of each spoke and get your detail going. If you wanna be real meticulous like me and get every little crevice, it's really easy to do with these mitts and they don't scratch the surface. And even though with my wheels are the matte black ones, so they're a little easier to clean, but you can literally just go over the whole wheel. It makes it really, really simple. That's how I clean my wheels a spoke at a time and get in there real good with these gloves. Then you just want to hose her off. I like to do the jet. I also scrub the tire with a mitt with the rough side. Then, because I'm real meticulous, I also went over it with some of my Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner, um, just to give it that nice bead finish and clean. So that's what it's gonna look like. If you guys take your time, get one of those mitts and clean it like that. I mean, do it however you want. Um, you can also use a brush for your tires, a tire brush. That's how I do it. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna start the wash process now. Just running some extra water here out of the mitt. And truck's all sprayed down, all four wheels are done. So I'm gonna show you guys how I wash. So here's your paint. Easy strokes, no pressure. If there is any contaminants on the surface, you don't wanna scratch them into your paint now. Granted, uh, mine has the uh, Toyota Care or the uh, Toyota Guard on it. So uh, it is like the Teflon film, but you just wanna, nice and easy, look, no pressure. Just gently go across, especially, especially if your vehicle is black. If your vehicle is black, you definitely, definitely just wanna be nice and easy. Now, on the plastics and stuff, you can Put a little elbow grease into it, get those extra bug guts out. And we're gonna do the whole truck like this. Um, so that's why when I clean mine, it does take a little while. Just because I'm real precise with it. If you wanna keep your taco looking new or your vehicle for that matter, anybody else who's watching, uh, keeping help to keep uh, spider swirls and stuff out of your paint. Just be gentle, give it a nice bath. You know, just literally, you know, when people are like, oh, I'm gonna wash my shit, I'm like, man, I'm gonna bathe my shit. It's gonna get a bath. So, 
just easy strokes no pressure unless you got like mud and stuff all over there then what you need to do is what i call a pre-soak so pre-soak would be somewhat of a chemical treatment how you're gonna bathe it uh you know if you got like chunks of clay and mud and stuff all over your stuff uh yeah actually are gonna want to do like some kind of pre-soak treatment on that some kind of suds based soak now i've already started off top but uh when you whenever you're washing a vehicle and you want to keep the paint nice you always work from the very very top so the roof all the way down so right now i'm what I, what I like to call the midsection of the car, uh, which would be like the hood. And just imagine as lines. So you have your top section, your middle section, and then your bottom section, which is typically gonna be the dirtiest, aside from the bug guts on your windshield. So we're just gonna go through and wash the whole truck like this, and then uh, see you guys in a second. All right, guys, we got her all suds down. So now we're just giving our shower rinse. Uh, the only reason you'd really need to use the jet setting on your hose or if you have like a pressure hose or a pressure washer, uh, I wouldn't recommend that. But the only reason you'd need to use any of those high power settings is if you have like clumps of dirt, like in your wheel wells, stuff like that. I definitely don't recommend using that type of stuff on paint. Also from detailing experience for the past over a decade now, uh, you know, one of the worst things is car washes uh the touchless ones and the brush ones the brush ones especially i mean you don't know who ran through there before you did you know some lifted monster truck could have went through there and had fucking mud all over his shit and guess what that mud gets stuck in those felt uh felt uh brushes or bristles and will scratch the shit out of your car uh the touchless ones, they're great because they don't technically touch your car except for the water. But the problem is, if you got a little bit of buildup on there, they're not going to clean it off. Even if it's a pollen, if your car is like really dirty, you haven't cleaned it for a while or your truck, uh, what's going to happen is it's just going to go right over top of that because that now dirt has now created almost like a film of dirt on your paint. And there's not really anything you can do about it. So I'm going to continue to rinse her off here. Get all them suds out. Make sure you get all your cracks and crevices. Oh, yeah. So one thing I didn't go over. Uh, when you're doing the wheel process with the mitt, uh, I usually spray some kind of wheel cleaner. Typically, uh, ultimate, the ultimate wheel cleaner uh, up in there. And after I'm done all four wheels, then I go around and do all the wheel wells. I let them soak with the cleaner on them while I'm cleaning the four wheels. So, uh, you know, obviously, like I said, if you guys got some caked on, you know, mud pies and stuff up in there, uh, you're going to want to pre-treat and with the wheel wells and wheels, you're just going to want to really give them a jet, a jet spray down, let some cleaner soak on there, maybe two times. So we're going to continue to rinse this off and I'll get back to you guys in a second. On how All right, dry. guys, moving on to drying. Uh, so this, before I go any further, this is basically like my crash course as to how I wash my vehicle, wash my truck. Um, and I do most vehicles this way, obviously, unless it's like a customer's vehicle, uh, you know, on the side or whatever. Uh, then I'm all obviously gonna dedicate even more time into perfecting their vehicle and making it look like they just got it off the showroom floor. Um, so typically what I use to dry, uh, believe it or not, making sure before drying that the vehicle is completely free of debris. You know, going over my edges, blow, uh, blowing out the, you know, the cracks of things, you know, along your headlights and especially around this area here and under here. So that's usually what I do is just, unless I have a blow tool, I usually just get that all blown out and get that excess water out of there. That way, you know, if you or your customers, if you're detailing cars, uh, goes to drive that that water doesn't come flying out the back if they go to drive um, but typically what I use is actually a clean microfiber towel um, not the fluffy like polishing kind like the actual just you know regular let's go buy a 15 pack of microfiber towels microfiber towels um, 
at least on my vehicle because I know I'm constantly uh, wash, wash, not washing, but you know, going over my vehicle, wiping it down and maintenancing it. So I know that my surface is pretty free of contaminants. So I can go over it with a microfiber towel and just dry the whole thing off. Now it does take a little bit longer because you're actually gonna be, you know, kind of wringing the towel out as you go. But I mean, you could do, you could do the whole hood in one, in one shot, as long as you have some kind of beading, uh, beading technology on there, that helps because there's not a lot of water left on the surface, as you can see. There's not much going on there. Um, if you don't want to use that, one thing I don't recommend you use is those squeegees. Do not use those. They will scratch if you don't have it going across a smooth, wet surface. Um, the other thing I use is, uh, you know, a chamois, uh, like the leather chamois or uh, an absorber going branded here an absorber uh, you can use one of those uh, so we're gonna get the whole vehicle dry and then we're gonna go over it with some uh, shine armor or some uh, ultimate detailer from Meguiar's stay tuned all right guys so as you can see uh, she's like 99.9% .9 dried off didn't dry the wheels yet uh, got the windshield wipers up because we're what I like to do actually is uh, sit them up prior to drying that way it gives them a chance to drip dry because uh, the very very last thing I do on the vehicle is windows uh, my interior is clean I just cleaned it the other day so that's pretty spotless but uh, we're gonna go ahead and go over this with some shine armor just to show you guys how that stuff works I'll do that on one fender and then on the other side I'll do ultimate uh, the ultimate um, detailer quick detailer so you guys can check it out so uh, I got the shine armor here I'm using a different rag with it because my purple ones are dirty that come with it so we're just gonna spray this on a couple light sprays as you can see it's purple you guys can see that there sorry keep flipping the camera around so uh, we're gonna go ahead and just give this a wipe down and just almost kind of rub it in like as if you were waxing at least that's what I do. And let's see. Now, granted, my truck's clean. So you'll see a little bit extra dimension on there. Just make sure it's rubbed in real good. And there you go. That's the mirror finish. Look at that. Mirror finish. That the shine armor gives you. And it feels smooth to the touch stays on there for quite a while around the correct way sorry about that we're gonna do the ultimate quick detailer on the other side just to show you guys differences between the products if you guys had opinions or uh you know different people like using different stuff from time to time so i don't have my wife filming today so i've been trying to multitask with the camera in my hand so uh, with this wires quick detail, you're just going ahead and spray that on there. Nice mist comes out clear. Same process. We're just going to go ahead and rub that in, and that's going to give you that quick, that quick shine that you're looking for. Now, both phenomenal products. Both I bought. They were not sent to me. As a little disclaimer, none of my products that I have were actually sent to me. Now I'm not going to lie. There are a few products that I have that I received discounts on, but they were not sent to me. I had to purchase everything. So now we got that rubbed in. Same effect, nice mirror finish. Now, smoothness, using the back of your finger, never the front because of the oils. Smoothness, feels about the same. But your shine is nearly identical there the mirror effect if you can see i don't know if you guys can see from this angle there you go you can see the clouds on there going past so that's pretty identical now i can say between the two of them uh i i really prefer both i don't uh, like one over the other but between the two of them i feel like 
the uh drop my hat the ultimate coat does last a couple more washes than the shine armor now the shine armor for me has pretty much lasted uh i say it goes through about two one and a half to two washes before you got to put it back on but now me you know that's my this is my in between so when i'm in between my next wash i give it a wipe down with this and as i said in a video before uh you know you're not going to scratch your paint any of that i've never seen anything like that now i haven't tried it on a black vehicle but i have tried it on my wife's sorrento and hers is like that blue gray silver color um and it hasn't left any scratches and left a nice coat on her car so um I'm going to go ahead and do the whole truck with this and get her all spit shined. And then we got some updates and some uh, news for you. You can get the spray and we'll just let it sit on there. Um, but as you can see, she's got a mirror finish all the way around the whole truck. She is spotless. Spotless. So, uh, a few things I wanted to go over with you guys in closing. Um, so, uh, we did, well, I did do some updates to the truck that you guys may or may not have seen. Um, I know some of them you haven't seen. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> uh, so, I know you guys have seen the TRD Pro Grill I did in the last video. Um, so, minor upgrades I did to the whole vehicle. Uh, you're not going to be able to see them right now. You might be able to in the truck. Hold on. So I did a full interior LED set up in there. Did that inside. One other thing I did was tinted. Where is it? Right there. Tinted my third brake light to match my tail lights. You guys have seen my, my wind jets. And then uh, I also installed the LED tag lights and LED backup lights inside, or reverse lights inside of the Windjet tail lights. So just a couple little things I did. Uh, got some more cool stuff coming soon. Uh, so that's what I got for you guys as far as updates go. Just little things I didn't make videos on just cause they're real simple installs. Uh, something you can do yourself and all of that probably took me 35 minutes, give or take, uh, to do. So, uh, secondly, well, thirdly, actually, I wanted to uh, just give a quick shout out to all the guys who have helped me get the truck to where it is. Uh, so, Taco Vinyl, shout out to Taco Vinyl. Uh, make sure you guys give Brandon a shout out or follow. Uh, he, I got the uh, TRD Pro Grill from him. And the, uh, the vinyls that go on there. Vinyls that go on there. All that. That whole setup. From him. Uh, shout out to Tacoma Beast. Uh, you know, little things I got from them. Uh, my license plate frame. It's all about taco. Um, my windjet tail lights I got from them. And uh, the Mezzo Customs trim plates. Headlight trim plates. So I know you guys have seen those as well. So I got those. Uh, so coming up soon, we're going to have some more installs of stuff. I'm not going to say what yet. I want to kind of keep it a surprise. And then we are also going to be doing... Um, how you doing? We're also going to be doing the 100 subscriber giveaway. So um, as soon as I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away... I'll show you guys while well, we got it on video here. A brand new, never used, never scratched. She's a beauty. Anzo LED third brake light. So you guys can see that. I don't know. Let me go out here and see if you guys will be able to see it. See the LEDs in the sun? There we go. No. Nope, can't. It's too shiny. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight LEDs in it. Comes with the harness. 
already attached, ready to go for your 3G. For your 3G taco, um, comes in a nice, nice padded box. So uh, that's going to be for you guys, for one lucky winner, when we get to 100 subscribers, first 100 subscribers. Right now we're at like, I think 30. Uh, so thank everybody. I thank everybody for all your support for the new channel and page, Facebook page. Uh, make sure you guys follow the rules for the giveaway. Uh, I did a post on Instagram at Carolina underscore Tacoma Beast. And you guys will be able to find all the information you need to um, enter or be entered for the giveaway um, right on there. Uh, just make sure you guys are following the rules. Uh, I gotta know it's you, so tag me. <laughs> and then also as an added bonus, uh, big shout out to a local company here, Salvation Coffee. Uh, their Instagram is at Salvation Coffee Company. Check out their stuff. They got some pretty cool one-off uh, apparel items, uh, cups, tumblers, uh, mugs, also uh, really good coffee, <laughs> different blends. So uh, I will be giving whoever wins the tail light or the third brake light assembly. Uh, I will also be giving them a gift certificate to Salvation Coffee. You can go right online, buy some coffee or goods, or you can call them probably and tell them what you want. Um, they're really cool guys and gals over there. They will definitely take care of you because they always take care of me and my wife. So, uh, Thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's what I got for you guys as far as the um, detailing slash cleaning element goes and giveaway updates, all that stuff. Um, so if you guys like this video and you feel inclined to do so, please drop a like. And as always, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much. Everybody have a great weekend. Have fun, be safe. Stay away from COVID. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.